What's up, everyone? Today, I, well, I made some changes under the hood. Um, the main thing that I changed was uh, the animation library that I'm using. So before I was using something called Framer Motion, and I switched over to a different library called React Spring. And what does that mean to you? Absolutely, well, not nothing, but very little. Uh, what it means for me is that I made it actually possible to repaint an animation when you change one of the knobs. So I was having a lot of trouble with this with Framer Motion, but the way that React Spring is set up, it made it a little bit easier for me to actually work on. So hello there right now that has an animation on it, but if I change the vertical jump amount, you'll see that it reanimates itself. And so I can remove the delay. Uh, I can change the threshold amount or the vertical jump amount to zero. And those are all causing it to repaint itself and to re-trigger so that you can actually see what your changes will do when you make a change to an animation. So that's, well, I think that's a big win. Uh, because before you couldn't do that, and then you would have to switch to preview mode anytime you made a change and switch back. So this is easier. Uh, small plumbing change for the code, and it helps make an actual uh, a feature, and that's great. Um, nothing else, not much else. Uh, added some tests around a specific method, but that's probably not super interesting to you. Um, I think next thing I'm gonna tackle is trying to add images, um, not necessarily letting you upload them, but maybe just letting you specify the source URL. So if you have an actual image um, hosted on, I don't know, anywhere, I guess, uh, any URL that you have, CloudFront, Cloudinary, Cloudinary I think is the one I meant, um, Unsplash, if you just wanna use one of those, uh, there will be a way to hopefully put that image in there and then, you know, kind of adjust the height and maybe it'll hopefully have like a, a like a, a blur up a technique so that it's not just like a huge um, page jump anytime the actual image loads, like hopefully there will be no jump. This doesn't matter, I haven't built it yet. So I'm gonna leave it that with you there. Um, you can check out the site, superblock.netlify.app. If you want to click around, check anything out, there will be a link in the, in the description. But animations, a little bit cleaner now. Alrighty. Have a good one. See ya.